All right, to our feature of the night, health experts have constantly maintained that early diagnosis of a disease significantly increases the chances of successful treatment. A new frontier in medicine is promising to turn the tide in early detection and prevention of diseases. Genomics, which is the study of genes, is making it possible to predict, diagnose, and treat diseases more precisely and allows personalized treatment of patients. Well, scientists in Kenya are in the forefront on looking for ways to actualize the much needed therapies, especially for cancer patients, in order to save more lives and resources that are spent by patients traveling abroad for treatment. Well, this story was produced by our reporter, Emily Chabet. Dr. Alan Jao, a pathologist and an assistant professor at the Aga Khan University Hospital, patiently examines his patients' tissue samples. This is what he does almost on a daily basis for cancer patients who depend on doctors with the hope of a better tomorrow. Dr. Njau is one of the champions of genomics treatment that he says will save many Kenyans through tailor-made treatment to individuals based on their genes. Genomics is the study of the complete set of genetic material in human, plants, animals or microbials. The set material carries genetic information and is passed from one generation to the other. A complete human genome contains 3 billion pairs of DNA. Genomics has helped us understand diseases in a more profound way. Uh, it helps us understand why people get sick and how severe their diseases are. Every individual has a unique set of genes, a copy inherited from a father and a copy from a mother. This means that our bodies function differently. Successful sequencing or classification of these genomes allows the delivery of the right treatment for the right patient with the right dosage, a treatment that is simply precise to each person's own genetic profile. When it comes to hereditary diseases, for example, sickle cell disease, hemophilia, by performing specific genomic tests, we're able to get a more accurate diagnosis and we're actually able to advise uh, both the parents and the offspring on the next steps. Cancer starts in just one ordinary healthy cell and according to scientists, the targeted therapies is aimed at combating specifically the cancerous cells, a move that is likely to be less toxic for patients compared to other treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation that can kill even normal cells. The biggest driver for genomics in cancer is actually precision medicine. Um, precision medicine involves um, utilizing very highly specialized or well-designed drugs which can actually um, inhibit the activity of abnormal genes which are driving the growth of the cancer. The first Illumina Genomics Workshop in Kenya brought together scientists from Africa and beyond in a bid to chart a way forward towards a possible achievement of this promising field as soon as possible and the need for Africans to add more diversity in the genomic databases. All the studies that have been done for breast cancer drugs are actually done on Caucasian patients. So that those drugs are very uh, effective on Caucasian uh, you know, patients. But when you come to Africa, the same drugs are not really working very well. The, there is maybe a potential that those drugs are not really reacting with our genetics. A lot of diseases, including cancers, are caused by alterations in our genes and genomics has the potential to identify the alterations which doctors can eventually take action to delay or even to stop the disease from developing altogether. Imagine this to be the accelerator of your car. You know, this is what a driver gene does. Uh, you basically, if you press it to the floor, the car moves faster. Uh, and, and, and cancer genes have have acquired this autonomous potential of being an accelerator. So with a uniquely designed drug, we can actually inhibit that accelerator, um, that gene. 
you can have a, like a population genomics program and then you do sample uh, Kenyans of different origins and you have you try to have more diversity you sample people of different ethnic ethnic groups or different uh, background so that you can find the variants that are unique to the Kenyan population. The cost in terms of infrastructure, machines and human resource is an impediment to the promising medical advancement with a few health facilities in the country using genomics in treatment of diseases.